Super Flyweight Champion Jerwin Ancaja surprise draw Friday night against Tijuana challenger Alejandro Santiago possessed all the appeal of the 115-pound series that has generated sharpened interest in the division. Following this week's news that HBO is stopping live boxing coverage in 2019, it's likely the rest of the top super flyweights who are being pointed to a late February date on the premium cable network will shift to ESPN and its streaming arm, which broadcast Ancaja Santiago. Advertisement Los Angeles promoter Tom Loeffler's Superfly franchise, which made its third consecutive Southland stop sept. At the forum, has enhanced the prominence of former four division champion and no. One pound-for-pound pound fighter Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, and the man who knocked him out last year at Sub Hub Center, Thailand's World Boxing Council champions Rasakits or Rungvisai. Asked if there's a chance that he'll move his three-time Superfly participant and former flyweight champion Juan Francisco Estrada to ESPN, promoter Fernando Beltran said, definitely. There's not a chance. It's a fact, top-ranked president Todd Duboff added, we'd be interested in bringing in all of them, Chocolatito, the Thai fighter, make room for the Philippines International Boxing Federation champion and Cajas, the 2nd of January 30, and Santiago, the 5th of February 16, who entertained at Oracle Arena with Santiago delivering some head-rocking blows, especially early in the bout, while Ancajas leaned on his speed advantage to score more precise blows and produce the activity that gave him a 116-112 score from Judge Michael Tate boxing. Instead of a rematch, Ancajas will seek out Sorong Visay, trekking to Thailand to watch his title defense next month and push for a unification bout. Everyone saw the fight, and everyone saw that I won the fight clearly, Santiago said. Ancajas conceded, my timing was a little off. He was a little awkward. Dot dot dot. It was a good, entertaining fight. I felt like I pressed and did enough to win, Santiago's heartfelt showing came after his promoter, Don Chargin, the former Olympic auditorium matchmaker, died Thursday morning in San Luis Obispo after battling lung and brain cancer. A 10-count of bell rings was conducted for Chargin, who was California's longest-standing licensed promoter, 69 years after staging his first bout in the late 1950s in Santa Clara. It didn't matter who you talk to in this sport, and we know how this sport can be. Everyone liked him, and everyone who'd come to say hello to him when we'd be in Las Vegas approached with so much respect, said Paco Damien, Chargin's business partner since 2003, who added that they never wrote a contract between each other in their dealings. In the main event, IBF super middleweight champion Jose Azcategui of Tijuana won a unanimous decision over Argentina's Ezequiel Moderna, 26-5 by scores of 98-92, 100-90, 100-90 in a non-title, light heavyweight meeting. Azcategui, 28-2, will move to a date with mandatory contender Caleb Plant, 17-0, 10 KOs, according to manager Sean Gibbons, and top rank wants Azcategui next year to meet the winner of the coming Gilberto Ramirez-Jesse Hart World Boxing Organization title fight. Also on Friday's card, Pico Rivera featherweight Rico Ramos, 30-5, 14 KOs, cruised to a unanimous decision victory over Mexico's Daniel Alia, the 2nd of June 13, by three scores of 80-71. And super bantamweight Genesis Cervania of the Philippines knocked out Tijuana's Carlos Carlson 44 seconds into the third round. Cervania, 32-1, 15 KOs battered Carlson, who failed to rise by the count of 10. Advertisement